best of hardware, we got a free no workbench hey, for all your modifications. Hey, Scopes, clip sizes, barrels. Here you go. Finally, I was able to do this. What a pleasant change. Ah, <gasps> oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. Let me do that. Welcome back, everybody. It is D-Pain, and we are playing some more Fallout 4. And today, I think I'm finally going to go and try the Piper mission. I don't really like Piper at all. Maybe this will help me be able to enjoy her better. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't even know where the main story quest is at the moment. Oh. Never thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful. That, that's nice. Hey, Piper. Heading my way. Oh, come on. There. Uh. Sure. Let's go. Will do. Traveling with Piper is not for the faint of heart. Okay. I'd know. Nick. You always know just what to say. Um, let's put you where I, I know you will be, which is right here. Uh, I can, oh, I can't leave you here. Okay, go to Sanctuary Hills. Hey. So. Hey. What can I do? Talk. Piper. You holding up, Blue? Blue. Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller. <laughs> I know you're not wearing a blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Oh wow, that dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. Besides, I'm already following you around. <laughs> Might as well get some quotes while we're at it. Okay, sure. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. Don't ask how I so have these sweet, from a vault. sweet clothes, though. How would you describe your time on the inside? Hmm. We were frozen. Let it go. Well, and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait. <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yeah. Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. I'm Captain the America. Time. So, you okay. see the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to it your It sucks. <laughs> You're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other. Oh my god, the smell. Okay. Well, that's going to be a fun one to quote. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. Uh, the kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb Sean! to for them? Sean! Get revenge, don't lose hope. What? Wait, people just ignore kidnappings out here? <laughs> yeah, Blue, you haven't noticed? You grow up in the Commonwealth, and eventually someone is going to get taken. <laughs> Maybe not someone you do, know, do, 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 and people just say, well, could have been worse. Could have been killed by raider attacks, or super mutants, or feral ghouls. Huh. They just give up. So I want my readers to hear what keeps you going. Maybe they'll find a little inspiration. Jet. Now what would you like to say? Uh... Always for revenge. Don't lose hope. Day at a time. None of that. You can only take it one day at a time. Just keep going. That's all anyone can do. We're all just doing what we have to, huh? I think my readers can relate to that. That's everything. Huh. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna get diamonds. Am, am I gonna get? To talk about. Am I gonna get paid anyway, for this? We should probably get going. Thanks again. I don't even know what my mission was. I already forgot it. 
I will. I guess. Sure, let's just travel with her for a bit. Well, we did one mission. Episode over. What are you doing? What is this? I don't want to read the truth. What is this? Fine. Oh yeah, I forgot. Now that these people are like... My people. I get to take all their stuff. I don't even know if she has a weapon. Hope she does. I don't want to share. With you. Don't you understand. It's true. Pew, pew. Oh, no, I guess this recording session will re determine on how much I can deal with Piper. Oh, gosh. What are these things? Why are you guys so scary? Oh, I, I sh I'm shooting you. Okay. Mine. <laughs> Did you? Okay. Do you know that person sounds just like you? Did your voice actor also do some raider lines? Wasn't me. Hey, now it was. <laughs> mistakes have been made. Lots of mistakes. Raiders are scarier. Excuse me. I'm heading farther away from where I originally wanted to go. Who are you shooting at? You're the one that started shooting at it. I don't wanna. Don't make me die just as I'm right around the corner. Good neighbor. It's a good neighbor. Uh, yay, we're here. Let's see how annoying Piper can be at this location. That being said, she hasn't annoyed me as much as she did. You know what she reminds me of? Hold on, well, uh, as soon as she comes back up. We'll get a good look at her. Hey, hold up there. I don't know where she went. Good neighbor? Yes. You can't go walking around without insurance. I don't want insurance. Back off. Right back off. Or you're the one who's going to need insurance. Well, well hey. All right. Oh, oh we'll yes. Just say your insurance is paid up for now. Oh, hey. Piper didn't like that. Where'd you come from? Through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? You remind me a lot of Jessica Jones. Your mayor, Finn. I said, let him go. Oh, my gosh. Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. I like this guy. Something. Huh. Now why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there, but a mayor's gotta make a point sometimes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I like this guy. I want him to be my new comrade. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. I like this guy. Sure. Good neighbor? That what you call this place? That's right. We cobbled this little neighborhood together out of the freaks and misfits that just wouldn't be accepted anywhere else. You'll see. You make enough friends here, you'll call this place home soon enough. So I like him. As you remember who's in charge. Me. Bye, Hancock. I can carry something if you need me to. Don't mind me, I didn't just desecrate this body. Daisy discounts. Okay, looks like the frame rate is going back to normal. Oh gosh. That's something for later. Kaleo. Well, hello. 
everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill oh. at your discretion. Dude, Except me. I met I one of you people. You scared the bejeebers out of me. Sorry, what's that? Okay. Um. Who? What are you? I'm a woman, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Click it. Ah! Of course you are. It's just all those metal plates. You're a robot, right? A very womanly robot? Designation Assaultron. Designed to provide a variety of security related tasks to the modern man. Runtime conclusion. Why work for the man when you can work for yourself? New designation. K L E O. Cleo. Fully independent small business owner. Robot enough for you, smooth talker. <laughs> what are you buying? Uh. Sure, let's I'll see what you got. Sure. Murder and mayhem at a discount. <laughs> I don't remember what I was doing. We're just exploring, good neighbor. I like this town. This town I like a whole lot better than stinking Diamond City. Oh, I I didn't mean to do that. Mainly because the frame rate doesn't just crap all over itself. Come on, Piper. Oh man. Oh, I saw screenshots for this. Or something on Reddit. Super cool. Third rail. Oh, hi. Well, let's go in here and talk to Bubbo. But first, what's back here? Sorry. Don't go there. Don't go down there. Come on. Let's just go in here. I don't want to get shot. Mm -mm. How'd you get here? I thought you had forgotten about the lonely. May have walked out of the den, Irma. But hey, look who's here! Walked out on you. This guy. Hmm. Oh, hi. Harry's downstairs. You big flirt. Hi. Where are you going? Oh, bathroom. Here for Amari. She's downstairs. Well, let's just keep going. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Um. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's there you are, Piper. I know it's asking for a miracle, Amari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Um, help Please. us. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You yeah. need this. And so do we. Yeah. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Yzma. Do you have it with you? Yep. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Yeah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what okay. I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Let's get to science. Um, yeah, let's keep going. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. Yeah, but that's kind of what I'm doing. Institute technology being what it is... The brain implant could fit him, but that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. Yeah, he lost all his hair. Uh, thanks, Nick. I appreciate Nick. this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. I'm traveling to Piper right now. Let's do this. Ready, I chose the worst time to switch the... 
if I start Switch the paper. like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out. Oh, I'm okay. high piper. Is this what you wanted? What are these things? I want to go in here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what you I can do it. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. Uh oh. Here's the institute has one last failsafe. There's a lot uh -huh. of memories in the institute. Wait, are they trying to turn my son into a synth? Uh, lock. How do you lock? Memories? Oh, I just the saw his nick. Okay. Coding all the mnemonic activity in the hippocampus. Think of it like computer encryption, and we don't have the password. Let's see. A single mind wouldn't be able to crack it. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. <gasps> it's Pacific Rim! Drives through whatever memories we can find. Ah! Let's do it! Pacific Rim! Let's get started. Just Pacific Rim! There and keep your fingers crossed. Pacific Rim! See you on the other side. Pacific Rim! That's the end of this episode. Uh, we'll Pacific Rim next episode. Well, I can take this stuff. Hmm. Pacific Rim! Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, I will talk at you all later. See ya!